So for my um, English strategy on defining a word that I do not know, I use morphemic analysis to figure out the definition of an unknown word. And um, basically what this is, is when you use your bilingual knowledge, if you are bilingual, you use um, whether English, Spanish, French, Chinese, whatever, there are certain words in English that um, sometimes um, are similar to the words you originally know from your native language. And um, morphemic analysis is just that. When you use that background knowledge and that of the words you do know in your own native language to kind of figure out what they mean in English. For example, the word principal in English, one may not know what it means. And so say they speak Spanish, like myself, I speak Spanish and I know the word principal. That word means something of main importance or priority. Um, therefore, I can right away assume that since it sounds very similar, it's almost all the same, it probably means that. So I can show you, for example, how I put it in, how it looks to me. So what I did was a little diagram, and basically it's what I do first, what I do next, and what I do last. So first, I identify the word, if it's similar to one I already know. If it is, okay, I move on to my next step. What is the definition that I know? I figure it out, think about it, and I think. Does it match or does it make sense if I was to ever plug it in into um, the context that the word I do not know is in? So then I go, if I figure it out that it makes sense, at the end I'll use my final step and I'll apply it. So basically, this is how it would look for an example. I am nothing special of this, I am sure. I am a common man with a common thoughts and I've done, I've led a common life. There are no monuments dedicated to me and my name. I will soon be forgotten, but I've loved another with all my heart and soul. And to me, this is this has always been enough. This is a quote from Nicholas Sparks from the movie The Notebook. Also a book. The word I highlighted is monuments. The reason why? I don't know this word. So to define it, I use monument. It sounds like a Spanish word, monumento. I know this word means a statue or object with a representative meaning, for example, the Statue of Liberty. So since the word definition makes sense, since it's been being used metaphorically, I move on to my last step. Find the synonym, synonym, the memorial tribute. So I'll plug this word in, or these two words in, and see if it still makes sense. Once I plug it in, I read, I am nothing special of this, I am sure. I am a common man with a common thought, and I've led a common life. There are no memorial tributes dedicated to me, and my name will soon be forgotten. But I've loved another with all my heart and soul. And to me, this has always been enough. Nicholas Sparks, the notebook. It makes sense to me. Therefore, I conclude, since this makes sense, when I'm rereading the expert, once you've replaced the unknown word with a synonym of the word you do know in English, then we can say that the morphemic analysis strategy is a good strategy to use when you don't know a word and you're bilingual but of a native language. So finally, morphemic analysis. Basically, I hope this, this helped you guys understand the definition of morphemic, morphemic analysis and made it a lot easier for bilingual people to use when they're reading and they come across a word they do not understand. It helps me a lot and I use it often when I see that connection between a word I don't know and a word I do know in my native language. So I hope it helps you guys. And that is all. Thanks. Thank you, Lupita.